Oh, another Bowser space for Luigi. Well, maybe not. Maybe this is the first one for Luigi. <laughs> he got let off the hook. <laughs> Just like he almost always does. Too bad I can't buy an item because I already got one, which is the key, but at least I can use it to go through that gate. Oh, not me! Don't, don't work with me! Thank you! Now I gotta try to out-hustle Yoshi to get the next star. Another two versus two game. Bobsled run! Oh, Looney Lumberjacks. We already saw this in the first video. Stop. I don't know if you can hear that tapping in the background, but that's how I do it every time. When it's at that pace, that's how I win it every time. I don't speed up because, um, that's not going to work. Now, in, as far as the music goes on here, I don't really like it that, that much. It's like, I just really don't think this music really has much um, relation to pirate, pirating. 30 per player? Oh gosh, 93 coins at stake. Not about this big blast. Facelift, yes! We haven't seen that one yet. Let's see if we can get the easy face of Yoshi. Uh, that's not quite easy, but I'll take that. Down on the bottom right corner. And that should be... Yeah, I think that should be good enough. Uh, maybe the ears need to be pulled out just another millimeter or so. Let's see. How many points out of 100 did I get? 97, that's pretty good. Maybe I shouldn't have pulled out those ears another millimeter. Oh, the worst thing is, when you have a tie for second, the one in first actually gets a, a little less coins than, um, than normal. So it's like I got, um, what is it, maybe 60 to 65% of the jackpot instead of 70. That's what it is. Okay. Am I gonna reach, um, Boo? Yeah, but I'm also gonna land on the Bowser space. But I'm gonna steal a star. I gotta steal it from Yoshi. Especially in case he beats me to the next one. Oh, how about... Oh, Bowser's chance time. Okay. <laughs> I don't do no looking on here. I just look anyway. Luigi, how many coins does he have to give? 30. <laughs> I don't think he even has enough. No, 27. He'll have him taken away anyway. And we have another two versus two game. How about Cake Factory? Sky Pilots. Okay, I better be driving again. Thank you. Oh, remember last time when Peach screwed us over? Oh, I just hated that a lot. And I'd have to say, though, it's a very good reason. And I'm glad she finished last in Western Land. 
because she really screwed me over in terms of um, trying to win this game. We had a huge lead, but she let it go away because she wanted to go in the direction of those cannonballs. Um, as far as other things I'd like to talk about, I'd like to talk about um, how I got interested in um, making Let's Plays. Well, it's a pretty long story, and a lot of people have long stories about it anyway. Um, it all happened at the beginning of this year, 2012, that is. The only, the only way I could really watch YouTube was on my phone, because... That was just how it was. I didn't really have internet at my place back then. At least not very good internet, so I just watched videos from my phone. There was a night when I decided to um, look for a, a, a playthrough of my favorite Mario Party 1 board, Eternal Star, because it has my favorite music for a video game. And, um... As I was looking at the username of this video, it happened to be it happened to be someone kind of interesting. And I'm like, this name looks really interesting, let's check it out. Then a few seconds into the video, as I'm watching it, I hear a uh, I hear a girl's voice in the background. I'm like, hey, she actually sounds really good, let's listen. I didn't really like videos of people speaking in games that much back then because I just really wanted to listen to the background music and character voices and such. But when I heard this gamer girl's voice, I decided, oh, what the heck, let's listen to her. <laughs> and I'll tell you now that that, um, that that gamer girl's name is Madame Wario. You might notice on my channel that um, she's on top of my list of um, people to check out. As I've subscribed to her videos since um, since January of this year, her videos have been absolutely fun to watch, and they're also a reason how this year has been actually kind of very happy for me. And I actually got into video gaming a whole lot more. I give her a big a big thanks for for that. All that, all those kinds of things. And just before I started this recording, she actually posted a video about her birthday coming up, in which um, she's asking um, fans to send out like a, a birthday card. Well, not a real card, but more like um, a video, a song, a, a piece of art, something like that, to wish her a happy birthday. I'm still not sure what I want to do yet, but but I just want to do something to um, to make her happy. Now we're playing Cake Factory for the first time. So yeah. I kind of hate the position I'm in right now. I wish D me and DK swapped positions, because um, when I'm grabbing on, when I'm grabbing with my back facing the thing, it's a little bit tougher. Oh, 14 to seven. We won that game by a touchdown. <laughs> Pardon me if you don't like football, but I just wanted to, <laughs> just wanted to be a little funny right there. <laughs> Now we're at the last five turns. And I got a pretty good lead. And I could sure use a few more coins. Oh, when this guy comes up, he always says Mario. <laughs> so now you see me being predicted to win for the first time. And that was all because of um, <laughs> Womp right there. Yeah, I can't believe that's all he likes to predict, just Mario. <laughs> And he's definitely going to be right about this one. Oh, 
Oh yeah, um... Mario Party videos were the ones I just really liked to watch. Because I always like to see if there were all kinds of wacky things going on. And there pretty much are. Whew, no, I didn't want Bowser's Big Blast again. We got crazy cutters. Let's see if we can get someone else. Yeah, the blooper. Although bloopers, I think, are really tough because I always get in the 80s with bloopers. Or even, like, the high 70s. Although, I think this cut had almost no problem. Let's see. 78? Oh, great. Now I end up in third place. Uh, I guess on the bottom, I was more on the inside of the thing than on the edge. Tuh, thanks for one coin. I don't want that one coin. Because look at my coin total now. I'm up back up to two. That's... That's kind of stupid. Hmm. Um, there have been other Let's Players that I've been fans of, and I'm pretty sure you can see who they are on my channel in terms of the, uh, um, the list I've made. It's on the right side. They're called, um, they have the names Slim Kirby and Dark Minded Sith. Those are guy LPers, and they're really fun to watch. I like, uh, Slim Kirby for his, um, huge variety of games that he's played for a long time. I feel like he's been doing... I feel like he's the biggest LP of all in terms of um, what he can do. As far as Dark Might of Sith goes, he doesn't post videos very often, but um, I like him for his really um, very deep voice for um, the Zelda games he does. And um, another, another thing he other things he does is um, he puts in movie clips or songs in when there's all kinds of cutscenes in Zelda games that relate to um, this particular um, scene in a movie, a real movie, and and it's kind of funny. I admire him for all that kind of work. Uh, thanks to that, um, battle minigame loss, I can't get the star. And I don't think we're gonna be able to see the duel minigame, especially with only four turns to go. Mm. This is really annoying. Slot card derby, we finally get to see this game. Although this, there's three variations of this of this game. This is actually one of the toughest because there, because this one has so many curves so fast. Curves that occur just re way too fast. You gotta let off on the control stick so many times. This is probably the one track in which you gotta let off the control stick on the most amount of times. This is just simply a four lap race. Better not. Ah. Oh well. I, I told you this. This track is really tough. Even though it may look easy, it's not, especially with so many curves. 